Back to the Future, one of my favorite films. I literally fantasize about being able to go back in time and make investments with the benefit of knowing what's coming down the road. Congressman Eric Cantor must either be a movie buff or share my same fantasy. Eric Cantor is the House Majority Leader and is not even on the Financial Services Committee, but that didn't stop him from proposing the brilliant idea to bring back the bubble through the Jumpstart Our Business Startups Act, otherwise known as the Jobs Act. It's a job, all right. It's an inside job, and it's going to make us a lot of money. There are a lot of great things in the act, but the one thing I like the best is that if you're a startup under a billion dollars, you can list on an American market for four years without an audited financial statement. <laughs> How sweet is that? I can say whatever I want about my snake oil for four years before, oopsie, that $999 million we said we made and everyone invested into, that actually needs to be restated. It was actually uh, $9, and you can't touch me for it. God bless the Majority Leader Eric Cantor for this exquisite and legal invitation to commit financial engineering. This is a modern chief financial officer's wet dream because now we really are going back to the future. This was the formula for success for those on Wall Street when the NASDAQ was hitting 5,000, largely fueled by IPOs of companies without any audited balance sheets. That was 12 years ago and many of the companies that took the NASDAQ so high are gone for good. Since then, we've had 12 years of real earnings and real businesses, and the NASDAQ hasn't even gone close to its all-time high. And that's because reforms were put in place, and there have not been enough fake earnings and fake projections to pump it back up. Until now. This bipartisan bill proposed by a Republican and signed into law by Democratic President Obama exposes the reality that both Republicans and Democrats understand that we need to get the people to put their money, their savings and pensions back into the market so we can take it.